Hey guys, in this video we're going to take a look at the four different ways in which radar can be used. Uh, specifically, we're going to take a look at constant on radar, we're going to take a look at instant on, we're going to look at quick trigger, and finally we're going to look at pop radar. I'm going to show you what they look like from the radar gun's point of view and explain the reasons why the different versions would be used. And I'm also going to show you what it looks like uh, from the radar detector's end as well. We've got a V1 here as well, and that's going to be our detector to show you what it looks like uh, when we receive it. And so. Um, to start us off, we're just going to jump right into it and we're going to start with constant on. And that's basically the simplest and most basic version. Basically the police officer turns their radar gun and they leave it on the whole time and they're scanning anybody and everybody. We'll go ahead and do that. So basically this is going to be really easy. We just sit and we can kind of kick back and relax. And we can either just listen for a really high pitched beep, which means somebody's going fast, or we can just sit and watch the screen or do something else or whatever. Uh, this is also great if you're driving around and you're not really too picky or anything, you're just blasting all the time. Uh, for the radar detector user, this is probably one of the easiest things because it means you can pick them up from a distance, you know, because they're blasting the whole time, and it makes it uh, much easier for your uh, detector to pick them up. Now, because of this, you know, anybody way up there, up ahead, is going to pick me up before I'm able to clock them. So, what I could do is I could turn my radar gun off. And I could just sit here and wait for somebody that I want to target. And uh, when I'm doing this, nobody's getting any sort of alert. So anybody way far away, they're not going to be able to pick anything up. And so what I can do is I can wait for a target car. And then, bam, as soon as I'm ready, I can just start clocking them. So we can pretend like maybe this white guy who's coming towards me, it's SUV. If I want to clock him now, bam, I get his speed. And if I wasn't transmitting before, I would be able to instantly read his speed and there would be no uh, prior warning from the radar detector. And this is what they'll say specifically in all the different uh, radar manuals is that uh, this mode is actually designed to defeat uh, radar detectors. Um, I guess a nice little side benefit is if you find the Doppler audio kind of annoying. I'll clock this guy, bam, 43. And we could just turn it off. So if you find the Doppler annoying, you can just kind of hit out, sit out and wait. But doing this, you're going to have to be more alert and actually looking for people to catch. So this is actually a way that's designed to defeat radar detectors. And then one of the ways you want to combat this is to have a very sensitive radar detector so that you can actually pick up uh, radar, you know, when people ahead of you are the ones being clocked. So that's going to be the counter to that. Uh, there's another type of radar which is kind of like instant on where it's not just about waiting until you see the car that you want to clock but in addition to that you're also going to be turning the radar gun off very quickly and it's going to look something like this just like that it's a quick trigger is what they call it or QT for short so if I wanted to clock this guy coming up I could do that or I could do directional information I'm doing let's do opposite lane only so there's quick trigger for uh, opposite lane. So basically the idea there is some radar detectors, especially the older ones, might be a little bit slower and the theory is that if you can shoot a shot faster than a detector can pick it up, like that, uh, there's the possibility of you can clock cars without your detectors ever actually going off. Now, that's not really the case so much anymore. It used to be more of an issue when detectors were slower, but now, you know, technology's improved, everything has gotten better, and it's really not so big, big of a deal to actually, uh, to pick it up. So as you can see, uh, detectors these days, I mean, they're really fast, and so you can actually uh, pick up the radar very, very easily, even if the officer tries to use quick trigger. Like, actually, check this out. So, got another one. Uh, sometimes what you'll actually see is I'm going to actually try to push the limits of this uh, radar gun and shoot as fast as I can. So, uh, we'll give it a couple seconds here for the detector to unpark. So, if you look at that, the V1 is actually going off faster than the, the B3 is able to even get a speed. So, you can see with Quick Trigger, I mean, you're not really going to be able to defeat any current detectors. And so, it used to be a bigger issue, but... Uh, Detectors these days, especially the better ones, and you know, configure them properly. You'll want to maximize the speed to really, you know, increase the odds in your favor. But basically, what you're going to see is a uh, quick trigger is not really that big of a deal to defeat anymore. Um, there are some manufacturers like Stalker with their DSR2X actually gives you the option of sort of automating quick trigger. Instead of uh, what I'm having to do here is basically say transmit then stop transmitting. Um, they have an option where you can automate this. Where you basically just press a button and it automatically shoots a half second shot of quick trigger for you uh, just to automate this. But again, no big deal to actually catch that in practice. 33, eight. So uh, 
Now that's quick trigger. There is a final version of radar, which is kind of like a more advanced quick, uh, version of quick trigger, and it's called pop. And what that is, is it's a much, much faster, essentially version of quick trigger. And uh, we'll go ahead and activate that. Okay, so we've got pop activated now. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna shoot a 67 millisecond burst of radar. So uh, six one hundredths of a second, basically. And the idea here is when you shoot this, uh, you're gonna be able to register a speed and in theory, you're gonna be able to defeat radar detectors. Uh, again, all the common ones can pick this up, no problem, it's not a big deal. Um, but it's actually best to run, if you're running with a radar detector, with pop detection turned off. Uh, why is that the case if we wanna actually, you know, be able to detect pop radar? Well, the issue is we don't actually care about detecting pop. Um, yes, I mean, yeah, the feature exists. And it's not that big of a deal to catch it with most modern radar detectors, but uh, there's two main issues. Number one is pop is actually inaccurate. Uh, the fact that we're having to shoot such a fast burst of radar uh, means that there's actually some technological issues with the antenna. And uh, watch my video on uh, pop if you want more detail. And uh, basically the idea is uh, it's too fast for the uh, radar gun to actually turn on and off properly and get a nice stable signal. So you are gonna be getting some inaccurate readings with pop. Uh, additionally, it's not used, uh, it's not legal for issuing tickets uh, for a different reason. And that's that uh, you don't get any sort of tracking history with pop. And because of that, it's even very, very black and white in the manual. You cannot actually use pop to uh, issue tickets. It's supposed to be used to preview uh, a speed and then you see okay like this guy for example if I wanted to clock him I'd shoot pop and then I would start transmitting normally like this and if I do this then I've got uh, my audio Doppler I've got a nice tracking history I can develop over time and so I really get a good quality read on him and that's something that uh, police officers do need to do in order to issue a ticket to get that nice good tracking history and you cannot do it off pop alone and so while theoretically it could be used uh, the feature is really not used in practice um, this gun is still used uh, the b3 it's used across the country in different areas not necessarily the most popular gun ever um, but you know it's used here in Washington it's used in Nevada it's used in a couple different places around the country and so um, typically what I recommend is even uh, you know if you've got these guns like I do here in this area run with pop off anyways it doesn't matter uh, you're gonna get fewer false alerts when you turn pop off and you're gonna get better performance. So that's really the way to go. Turn pop off, it's not in use, it's not legal to issue tickets, and that's really the uh, recommended way to go. So I wouldn't worry too much about pop, and I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't use it as a way to determine I should get this detector versus that one because it can do a better job at detecting pop. Uh, honestly, that's pretty irrelevant. You're gonna wind up turning pop off anyways. And so, um, there you go, there's a look at the main types of radar. You've got uh, constant on, which is leaving it on the whole time. You've got instant on, which is just kind of sitting and camping like this. And then when you see somebody that you want to clock, at that point you turn the radar gun on. Uh, the third option is going to be doing a uh, quick trigger, which is designed to uh, defeat radar detectors. Uh, theoretically, doesn't really work so well anymore. And then finally, you've got pop, which isn't in use and isn't even legal to issue tickets. So uh, basically what you're going to want to do as a radar detector user is find a detector that uh, is very sensitive. So you can be picking up perhaps these instant on shots at a distance, especially if you've got, you know, you can see trees and hills and stuff that like to block and absorb radar. You're definitely going to want a sensitive detector to pick up signals at a distance. You're also going to want one that's going to be very reactive and can catch uh, any sort of brief alerts. So, uh, you know, maybe a quick trigger shot like this, or uh, maybe at a distance, the signal's gonna be kind of intermittent because it's, you know, blocked by trees and traffic and that kind of stuff. And so you're gonna want something that can catch a signal when you only get a very brief glimpse of it to give you the best chance of alerting to it. So definitely important there. So there you go. There's a look at constant on, instant on, quick trigger and pop, or CO, IO, QT, and pop. If you ever see it written online, that's what those abbreviations mean. So there you go. There's a look at uh, detecting different types of uh, radar modes. Uh, again, we've got a V1 here and we've got a uh, MPH B3. And uh, cool. I guess that's about all I got for now. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.